Cheers y'all, how's it going? It is a gloomy, very, very foggy morning here in the Rockaways. Uh, and I had the realization, I have now lived in New York on Long Island or, or nearby for about seven years now. And I have never been to Coney Island. Uh, today is the Brooklyn Half Marathon. We got some friends running the race. It will end in Coney Island, which is about 18 miles from where I'm standing right now. So uh, we're gonna go on a little 18 mile run to Coney Island this morning. Cheers, y'all. If you can believe it, at this point, we are just over a week away from the Mohican 100 miler. I know for myself personally, those pre-race nerves, pre-race anxiety is starting to creep in, uh, but I am just distracting myself with all of the, the kind of minutia, the tiny details that go into planning, making sure that I have everything lined up, uh, all of those kind of peripheral details that you need to be a lot more mindful of going into an ultra marathon, particularly a hundred mile race, but all is going well. Depending on when you are watching this video, if you're one of the early viewers and it's still Still Thursday, Thursday the 26th, I'm actually doing a live pre-race video, pre-race happy hour with Ultra Dad tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. So head over to check that out for sure if you have an opportunity. Or if it's after Thursday, you can still go to his channel and watch the whole thing as a recap. Uh, so I will link to that down below if you are interested. But like I said, a little over a week left to Mohican. I'll get into some of the details in a minute, but wanted to go over that run that I had at the beginning phenomenal run so that was really truly my last long long run effort or long run effort leading up to the Mohican 100 miler uh, and again a pretty decent confidence boost again it totaled 19 miles a little over 19 miles solid run for sure my legs felt very very good on that run which i'll touch on um, obviously 19 miles is far less than 100 uh, but ultimately it was just a big confidence boost because of how good i was feeling throughout that run so basically uh last saturday was the brooklyn half marathon put on by the new york road runners runs from prospect park in brooklyn loops around a couple times and then down to coney island so i decided decided I would run to Coney Island as my long run for the day. There were a couple different routes I could take and I was really torn based on timing when I needed to be at Coney Island to be the cheer squad, etc. Uh, there was basically a 13 mile route or a 17 ish mile route depending on which bridge I took ultimately decided I needed to prioritize mileage again, in particular, since that trail run didn't go nearly as long as I had hoped, wanted to put in a long duration effort. So decided to go for that 17 ish mile run, started nice and early in the morning, loaded up the pack, also was testing out some new gear, some new compression shorts for Mohican, which were also fantastic. 
Started out around, I'll say like a 9.30 pace probably, taking it very easy practicing fueling strategy, salt intake, hydration, et cetera, really just trying to replicate exactly what my plan is gonna be during Mohican. So taking in some kind of nutrition every like 30 to 40 minutes, closer to 40 minutes probably, uh, and same thing, taking in salt at that same interval, and then basically just a constant flow of fluids, always sipping on water. And noon is what I had, we'll have hammer heed nutrition or hammer heed electrolytes, I believe is the fluid that they'll have on course. So kind of alternating with those Following that plan, the early part of the run went off without a hitch, very, very comfortable pace, very smooth, felt really good. Uh, and then as I was getting closer and closer to Coney Island, started to realize that the Google Maps route that it had planned was definitely a bit under measured, especially as I was getting into Coney Island and I was already about at, I think like 16 miles, knew I still had a couple miles left till I got to the boardwalk, still till I got to that finish line. So started to pick up the pace because I was hoping to get there in time to cheer on my friends who were running the course. I could hear the finish line way off in the distance, but it was pretty far off in the distance. So really started to pick up the pace. Again, kind of increased speed throughout the entire run just because of how good I was feeling and ended up running those last two-ish miles, I think, at a sub eight minute pace. So with the vest on, doing that at the end of what ended up being, like I said, a 19 mile run was feeling very, very good. Legs were feeling strong. Everything just smelt, felt smooth and consistent. Fueling went perfectly well. I didn't feel tired. My legs still felt strong. So just all things look great during that run. Overall, a great success. It was awesome seeing everyone finishing the Brooklyn Marathon. It was hot as hell for sure. Uh, luckily, the temperatures stayed relatively moderate throughout the early morning hours. It wasn't until I was like those last two miles where it really started to heat up. The cloud cover kind of broke and it was that direct sunlight. Uh, ended up getting up into the 80s, 90s later that day. But luckily for the run itself, it was just kind of low 70s in the direct sunlight made it feel like it was a little bit warmer, but nothing too serious. Again, Great planning for Mohican because who knows what the heat is going to be like. Uh, also great planning because the humidity was thick on Saturday morning. Uh, and I remember that being a massive factor during last year's Mohican. So overall, just very, very excited for how that run went and very excited to be within the taper, calming things down mileage wise ramping things up in terms of planning. So I don't know if you can see behind me, I've just got like boxes. Uh, random assortments of things that are just lying around that I've purchased over the last couple weeks, all the kind of last minute gear items I'm gonna need trying to start organize those. Uh, I've also just got a random bag filled with assorted goods, assorted items I think I might need. So over the next probably, I mean week really, I will be leaving for the race a week from today. Uh, so over the next week, just gonna be kind of laying all of this stuff out breaking it down into what's gonna be available at camp, what I'm gonna have in my drop bag, what stuff I'm gonna need at the end of each loop, kind of my resupply bags, uh, and then what's gonna be on my person as well. Just kind of writing all of that down, organizing it as well as communicating that with my crew, what they can expect that I will need at the end of every loop. They're also planning to hopefully see us a few times out on the course as well. Um, so just what needs to come with them for those meetups, et cetera. So like I said, lots of last minute details to go through, but this is the fun part uh, and it just kind of helps calm down that anxiety, soothe the anxiety when you just dive into that meticulous planning. Because uh, the more details you can plan for, the better you feel going into the race, even though I know there's gonna be plenty of unknown factors that will arise the more factors that we can plan for, the better off that we will be on race day. But I am very excited. It is getting super, super close. A week from today, we will be heading to Ohio. Uh, hopefully next week, I'll put out a video just going through all of my gear to kind of do a run through of what I will have once it is a little bit more organized. Uh, and then of course, as always for races, if you follow me on Instagram, at I run on beer, that's where I'll be posting throughout the weekend, just live updates of how I'm going. My wife will have my phone to be able to post stuff throughout the race as well. So so be sure to give me a follow. But if you've made it this far in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up to help other folks find the video as well. And if you don't already, I hope you will subscribe to the I Run On Beer channel. And I hope that some of you uh, will see you live at the, the pre-race live updates with me and Ultra Dad, very excited for that and just getting very excited for this race. So thanks as always for tuning in. I hope y'all's training is going well and I will see you around.
Cheers.